to follow up uh, the the, um, the, st the same things that we do yesterday here at the Sardinia Grand Slam. So we're gonna interview, and I will leave, leave the microphone to uh, to Blasco, Wasco Hazard, Wasco, no, Wasco, Wasco, Wasco Boise, Boise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. And so Simone Vanucci will uh, will start to do some uh, question to him and talk about his project. Yeah. Good morning to everyone. Um, we are uh, under blasting sun here in Sardinia with no wind, waiting for action, and we're gonna continue with our interviews. Today, I asked Blasco to come up on stage with, um, with his kids. He is here with seven kids from uh, between 12 years old and 17 years old, I believe, 16 years old. And they're all here to race hydrofoils, and uh, since it's something really special uh, to see so many young kids I decided to ask Blasco how he did it and uh, how this all started. Well, I'd, I'd love to take all the credit, but I'm just here as a rider and helping out because I wasn't competing in this event. So I guess it all started pretty much with Buenos Aires, the Youth Olympic Games. This, this, this whole movement started the idea of youth getting in the teams and training together and getting better. So I guess this was the beginning couple of years ago when the Youth Olympic was announced. Okay, so you started, uh, the, I believe they're all kiteboarders, they all uh, were kiteboarding with the twin tips, they all started twin tip racing and then now that the Olympic Games uh, is kind of passed, they moved on to other foil that here to the first uh, international event, is that right? Yeah, I mean, that's the basic progression. You start on a twin tip, you learn how to move your kite and how to, how to ride and then as soon as you, you feel ready, you can jump on the foil and start racing the proper gear, the fast gear. Okay, cool. So um, you told me before that uh, basically everyone is uh, close by to the spot of Sopot, which is kind of uh, where the team is based and uh, kind of the, s the main supporter for this project. Is that right? Yeah, the whole, the whole group is connection between the Polish Yachting Association, Sopot Yacht Club, and of, of course the great help and dedication from the parents. So I'd say I'd like to say that there is just one person that started it all, but it's just a big group of people that got involved and pushed the kids to go on the water. And this is how how it is: seven kids racing and fighting for a podium. Cool. Let's uh, let's hear from them uh, what uh, what's their idea is. Uh, maybe you can ask them uh, starting from the left side. Ask them their name, where they're from, uh, how they got involved in kiteboarding, why they're doing it. Okay, let's start with you, Speedy. Okay, so my name is Kuba and I kite because I feel free and it makes me excited. Hi, I'm Julia and I'm kiting because my dad and his amazing water sports passion. And right now it's for me a kind of life and I just can't stop, it's exciting, I, I feel free. Um, my name is Julia, I started at Peninsula Helski. Uh, Hel I see the children uh, have so big fun for that sport, so I started too. And this is my biggest hobby at the moment and I think I want, um, I want stop training this. Hi, my name is Paula. I start racing because it's too much adrenaline for me. Hi, I'm Nina. I start kite because it's making me happy and um, he starts learning. And yeah. I love it and I can relax from school. Hi, I'm Ayashek. Uh, I start here in Sardinia. And I love kite surfing because it's speed and so much adrenaline. I'm Kuba, and I started kite surfing seven years ago. I start from twenty racing, and I fall in love with it. But one year ago, I tried foil kite foil, and I fall in love again. <laughs> I I don't have brothers and sisters, but when I met these guys, I get brothers and sisters and family. 
All right, so I would like to ask Blasco, how long did it take those guys to go from uh, 20 bracing to um, going back and forth and be able to race on Adderfall? Uh, I wasn't their coach the whole time. I'm just starting with this group, and hopefully I will be able to pass some knowledge later on. But uh, from what I remember, they started foiling last year. And Julia here started foiling in April. Am I right? April? No? You? Yeah, April. So they learn really fast. Their kids, you know, how it is. <laughs> And they, they listen, they learn, and they follow you around on the water, and they, they, look, they look up at the riders, and they try to do their best, and they learn really quickly, believe me. I remember having a, a little, bit, little day of training with them about two months ago, and the progress they made since then, it's, it's huge, it's amazing. Yeah, since we have a lot of kids there, um, they approach the racing scene thanks to um, the, the effort put by the class, the international class, to put uh, 20 racing into the Olympic, uh, uh, Youth Olympic Games program. We definitely, for sure, have uh, lots of kids that are now thinking to move on, and uh, they're probably wondering how long does it take to change and move on to the hydrofoil? What gear should I get? Should I get something that is for beginners, intermediate, or they should jump directly on the high performance equipment? What's the experience of, uh, of your kids? Uh, I think, I mean, once the kid, once you can ride back and forth, maybe do some jumps, back rolls, some basics, basic stuff, you can already start for me, you can already start on the foil. The best is to have a, easy free ride foil that will be the easiest progression because you you won't get scared it's not too dangerous it's not too fast it's easy to ride easy to go on so having a free ride foil it's a great option but some of the race force are also fairly easy to to go on so if you don't have a free ride foil just go on a race one uh, believe me you will be surprised how fast you can catch it and falling it's not that hard it's harder to, to do some maneuvers, but just going on the water and flying above the water, that's, that's quick. That's a few hours on the water, and you, you can do it, especially if you're young like them. So probably one way to do it uh, could be to have uh, a group of kids get one or two intermediate foils, go out on the water, one, uh, two guys maybe at the same time to try, the rest following watches on the, on the boat, and then we take turns, and then after a week of that, then kind of everyone move on to, to their own foil and start riding all together, is that? Yeah, exactly. I mean, even without the wind, it's great to start behind the, behind the boat. You get the feeling, you don't have to worry about the kite. Even just riding behind the boat on the foil, it's great experience and great progression towards kiting, towards riding with a kite. All right, thank you so much, guys, so for uh, being part of this interview, telling us your stories and uh, where you're from and where you want to go. Thank you so much. Good luck for the event, and uh, we're sure to see you on the race course for many years to come. Oh, yeah, many years to come. <laughs>